Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, hello everyone. In this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to uh, show you how to model a high-rise building or uh, semi-rise building or medium high-rise building, steel structure or concrete structure in Abacus software. Uh, after modeling, we will perform a time history analysis uh, using a specific uh, record from the uh, earthquake ground motions. Uh, so for this case, we have a, a typical uh, steel structure which has uh, uh, three bays in X direction and three in the Y Z direction and about 10 stories uh, in a Y. Uh, each bay has uh, 5 meters and the height is uh, 3 meters. So we use the two type of profile, three type of profile. One is for uh, primary beams and uh, the second for uh, secondary beams. And we have a column. The column is uh, from the box sections <coughs> and the beam is from I section with secondary beam. So this is a, a part of result that's the acceleration in uh, direction x if we can assume that uh, uh, x is the north and uh, uh, c is east so other uh, we can apply in the both these two direction even we can consider the uh, vertical uh, acceleration so this is the result which after uh, analysis completed we can see the maximum uh, acceleration is in the top of the uh, stories we applied in the ground in the bottom of the structure but the uh, acceleration is in the uh, top of the roof so this is the uh, exact concepts of the uh, ground motion behavior we can uh, uh, quickly check uh, uh, the output from the top of the roof and see what's the maximum uh, acceleration in in this uh, roof so here we can select unique nodo and from acceleration we can get direct one and select a node it's a rendering part i'm going to off the rendering from here and we can select this node so just this node is enough and here is selected we can plot so this is the plot of uh, uh, this is the acceleration plot uh, the total time uh, span is about 30 seconds so which is a maximum uh, uh, 2000 uh, 20,000 millimeters per square second so this is the a part of result and then we can see that the deformation uh, deformation and also the velocities and other parameters so okay we quickly go to the model this this one i'm going to take a new one uh, save Uh, I save this one and I'm going to quickly draw another one. <clears throat> uh, the first uh, uh, I draw called uh, uh, P beams or primary beams uh, is using a wire planner and uh, using millimeters uh, unit. So the beam uh, length is about five meters and I can quickly dimension five meters five thousand millimeters and this is beam is done and next uh, uh, going to call the s uh, beams which is secondary beams so the uh, the length is the uh, same uh, five meters uh, five meters and the next uh, drawing uh, columns <coughs> Uh, the second is uh, the third one is going to draw a columns and um, the column uh, height is uh, uh, it can be different uh, uh, I want to uh, draw a column uh, which is uh, uh, three meters 
very uh, typical uh, three meters and uh, this is done so that three uh, secondary beam uh, primary beam and uh, columns or uh, model and next we're going to the property define uh, concrete properties so uh, I have already saved some uh, materials in my library uh, and I'm going to show you how to save a, a material let's see I call it steel uh, steel and here is giving the properties just give elastic this is elastic and I'm going to give 200 uh, 200,000 uh, megapascal uh, for modulus elasticity and 0 0.3 uh, poisson ratio so this is a uh, yeah here should be something called steel we have a space steel now we have uh, a steel material, but this is elastic. I'm going to save to my library. I'm going to the save to my library here. Now click uh, here. Click, and we have a steel uh, in in my uh, material. So I'm going to uh, I can uh, select any called elastic elastic steel. So under this folder, I will. Uh, under this folder I'm going to add this steel so now yeah save so I can delete this and uh, that that let's see we have next time and came to the here and from here we can find that elastic he is here uh, elastic or elastic steel and when you open here is steel so now we can add this miss and it will come back again so we don't want to use this steel and I have a another I have another steel material that's uh, using uh, Rasmussen uh, curve, which is uh, drawing uh, complete. This is meters, and this is uh, uh, actually uh, we got from experiment. So I add uh, this is steel. I'm going to use this is steel. Now we can see the parameters we have is the first density, and the second is elastic, and the last one is uh, plasticity. So I have drawn this curve and the maximum ultimate is 400 and it's uh, still S35 which is using uh, Russian steel codes. Uh, okay, the next is we want to draw uh, three type of profile. One is for primary columns, uh, for columns, let's see columns. This is a box section. For box section, this is a, a square section. We have 400 by 400, and this uniform thickness in uh, across this uh, section is about uh, 20 millimeters. And the next uh, profile is uh, P beam, which is a primary beam, and using uh, I section. So the total, uh, the midpoint of this. Uh, uh, our section is uh, 250 uh, uh, 250 uh, we want to use the 500 height and because it's we have some uh, primary equation equation that's called L divided by uh, 8 to 12 so we can take the average and we we can uh, select the uh, height of the uh, beam for primary design, we can see the response of the structure, and after that, we can optimize which uh, height is quite good. So the length is uh, should be 400, which is similar with column, and 400, and the thickness one thickness two is flange. We can use uh, uh, 15 and also 15, and the waves can be 10. This is the primary beam. We have a secondary beam called S beam, and uh, the S beam is the maximum is 134 main point, and height can be 300. So this is also 100 uh, using 150, uh, 150, or you can use 200, 200 flanges. And the thickness of flange is about uh, uh, 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters, and it's 8 millimeters. 
uh, this is done the next thing is uh, we're going to up, uh, define some cross-section c called uh, columns this is beam elements and we're going to select the previous uh, defined in profile so this is column and here is called Poisson ratio we can give again again and next going to call the p beams p beams and here is select p beams the same materials 0.3 and one more that's called the secondary beams uh, the secondary beams you selecting from the profile and here is 0 0.3 so the uh, the section is defined and now we are going to assign so here is column and I should select columns columns and next is a primary beam and I'm going to select primary beams P beams and the last one is a secondary beams uh, secondary beams this is secondary beams okay it's finished and the next uh, yeah, we are going to the assembly uh, we are going to assembly and uh, first uh, primary and column should be add uh, to the uh, here and now we are going to rotate this one and um, rotate this one taking this point and it's 90 degree uh, let's see 180 no uh, we should uh, select this one uh, I'm going to uh, rotate uh, in this uh, direction uh, good and this is uh, actually column and i'm going to put this point to the uh, center and next i'm going to select this one and here to this join uh, then i can uh, use linear patterns and uh, copy both of them in uh, uh, this is uh, 500 this one and let's see direction I can select this direction and uh, for this direction I can use uh, this direction so we are going to use like like this uh, uh, one bay two bay and this is uh, three bay uh, it should be five hundred five thousand the same like this and here is uh, going to front uh, front uh, this is uh, one two and it's one two three uh, okay and the remaining part is here and I'm going to quickly uh, uh, quickly I'm going to off this and here is going to back okay and I'm going to select uh, sorry uh, you should select this this one here and I can change this data to about uh, 3000 uh, yes so don't need this one and I'm going to quickly uh, uh, select this one you can uh, select which way is better for you and I'm going to bring these four columns here and next uh, I'm going to uh, input uh, one of the uh, beams primary beams again to uh, to distribute in this direction Z uh, I should uh, rotate this and take this two point and it will quickly rotate like this so I'm going to select this one and select here to here uh, now again using this uh, linear patterns and I'm going to give about uh, 5,000 uh, 5, in, in, in this direction and here is 
uh, also 5000 I'm going to select these two so this uh, region and this region. Uh, now <coughs> here is done and here is also done so one bay two bay three bay. Uh, this is quite good and next is the same patterns oh, but wait we have to provide that secondary beam as well secondary beam i can quickly take the secondary beam sorry uh, move this point and using uh, one single uh, secondary beam so and i'm going to select this secondary beam and i used 500 and i should select this direction is also 500 using this one here so this is enough and this is enough okay now uh, the first floor is completed now select all and uh, we're going to uh, turn off this one and increasing this one is 3000 uh, we should use this app and now we can it should be 10 and this is 10 stories 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and uh, one more and this is 10 so this 10 story is done so we draw all the um, system now the next is i'm going to uh, instead of using uh, some sort of connection we used uh, a fixed connection to h beam columns we want to merge all this so, uh, i can say 10 uh, uh, story uh, steel structure the surface and you should call be retain and select all the system and it is uh, done now it's become a single uh, structure so the next stage uh, we are going to uh, with the properties back and we are going to apply the uh, orientation so that orientation can uh, here is a uh, a section the section should define orientation this is a uh, direction two and this is one so and i'm going to bring that 10 stories and here is uh, xyz and i go to select all columns first uh, the column the column is uh, is a rectangle section so uh, uh, it can be uh, quite easy which uh, direction you want uh, if it's two one it doesn't matter so both direction moments inertia will be same but in the primary and secondary beam it's quite different so I will show you how to handle this Uh, there is also some software you can model this uh, structure in etabs, sub, and then uh, uh, then you can uh, try export uh, to the import to the uh, Abacus software. But uh, there is one free that doesn't work well, and other is uh, uh, paying, uh, which is uh, developed by Dr. Chen. Uh, it's called Dino Chen, and you can uh, check his website and you can get that software called Abacus Sub Sub Etabs uh, Boss Software. So now it's uh, okay, I can give any of them is okay. So the uh, orientation for column is completed. The next is we are going to apply for the beam, uh, beams. The same uh, here, and I'm going to direction. Uh, this is one part and uh, uh, this is one part and uh, um, this is all uh, beam is let's see here and uh, 
selected all the beams and uh, but uh, other direction cannot accept this we want to use other okay now again uh, again uh, these direction beams I selected maybe something I can again I can here it is and I go to again select okay and here selecting this and here So all the uh, uh, beam is uh, selected and you can give uh, the, from the X uh, one. So the number of, uh, I can use uh, uh, zero and one zero. So this is okay. And now we can uh, go to the assembly and uh, check the from view assembly displation uh, display and rendering beam and uh, we can see which uh, uh, beam column is uh, right or which one is wrong uh, we can see uh, this is right and but other one is wrong so uh, that second one they should it shouldn't be in a y uh, the state number one should go to Y, so it's wrong. We can change. We should change it. So <coughs> this is okay. And uh, the next is uh, check the primary is also same. Only thing is that uh, <coughs> that uh, here we should select again orientation and. Here and now uh, I should use uh, X, should be number one. So I'm going to use, yeah, this is okay. Now we can go to back to the assembly, and this time uh, we can see it's correct. So this beam is in the right uh, uh, orientation, and let's see here, and this one also, all the beam is correct. Uh, next, we are going to uh, step. The first step is the gravity load of this structure and uh, we should define a gravity uh, that can be static and we can uh, turn on the num 
uh, geometrical nonlinearity and uh, other parameters can be uh, default. Uh, I, I like to uh, use this uh, uh, called adaptive stabilization uh, that can uh, prevent from some of the errors. So uh, the next setup is uh, called uh, time uh, history, time history, and that can be dynamic. Uh, also, we can use uh, implicit and explicit. So I interested to use implicit. Uh, the total uh, time period is here is a record. Uh, I have uh, brought from the uh, this is Chichi's uh, record and I will show you how we can get this record or other sort of records the maximum time period is uh, 40 seconds uh, this is uh, 40 seconds and I'm going to uh, give uh, this 40 seconds so uh, using about uh, 10,000 increment actually here is 4,000 and I'm increase 10,000 and the initial uh, is 0 0.1 which is uh, close to this uh, time period uh, 0. Uh, yeah, 0 0.01 second and uh, this is 0 0.01 second and uh, the minimum should be something uh, smaller uh, which is the uh, which is required to uh, lower numbers that can prevent also from uh, some errors 1 e minus 15 15 so uh, other parameter is okay so now we're gonna okay and uh, next is going to the uh, load part we don't need interaction or other things going to quickly go into the uh, load parts I, I'm going to uh, turn off the uh, assembly uh, rendering uh, because we want to uh, create a okay uh, here is a seat I'm going to create a seat that's called the uh, base uh, nodes uh, base nodes and I'm going to select all those base nodes uh, for uh, boundary conditions so we, it is one more now I can check. Uh, I should select it all boundary conditions. So this is done. And next is going to apply gravity load. So I can call gravity uh, load. The gravity load. Uh, sorry. So the gravity load is uh, something in a in a in a gravity uh, step. And here is gravity load. So I can select. So this is the if I give we using millimeters. So I should uh, change the G to uh, millimeters. So one G is about uh, nine thousand eight. This uh, millimeters per square second. So I'm going to paste this in direction. Uh, this is Y direction uh, with a negative. Uh, it's a negative and it's okay so now it's gravity loot and the second is uh, I want to give a boundary condition uh, that's called base of fixed uh, it should be an initial and I use the displacement uh, use that seed yeah Okay, uh, I want to apply uh, the the, the uh, ground motion in the base, so I should uh, uh, uncheck that direction during the 
earthquake. Um, other can be uh, restrained, but except that X, we assume to apply in the nodes of the structure. So this is uh, U's and check it. And the next is uh, here we want to uh, apply the called uh, time uh, history. Time history should be in a time history and using uh, uh, we have uh, we can apply velocity displacement and also acceleration. I want to apply acceleration and it is called acceleration and using the same node in a one. Uh, this is G. Uh, we have this data is G, so we want to convert with the same. Uh, then we can give that uh, uh, parameters here. So here should we apply the, uh, we should apply these uh, uh, time histories. So I can select all these time histories function and then here is go to the create uh, time uh, history uh, record record uh, now I can paste here is paste so I'm gonna delete these first rules and now it's begins 0 to 0 and it's to 40 second from here I select time histories which is the acceleration is uh, millimeters by square second so uh, here is the acceleration uh, everything is done and the next day is going to apply a mesh uh, it should apply the boundary element in the pots uh, we can use a small mesh or a lower mesh fine mesh is about the uh, 200 so the uh, more, um, fine mesh can give good results. So the uh, program will automatically determine the uh, type of elements. If you don't, now we can uh, uh, select and here is already selected B. This is one of the issues sometimes it, it will occur. So we can uh, verify this uh, beam uh, has any problem or not. I can uh, 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 here is uh, let's see here is an analysis uh, we have this type this uh, amounts of elements and we have the analysis zero uh, and warning is also zero so there is not any uh, error during the meshing so meshing is quite good and well now uh, here is job uh, we are going to create a job i'm going to use uh, time uh, time uh, history uh, response uh, sometimes we call time history analysis also time history response so it's uh, using the default parameters and with the submit but before submit we're going to uh, save our model or set our directory save our model and the same but I'm going to use uh, time response uh, okay now I'm going to submit for the analysis Uh, here we can check uh, it's called the uh, submission is completed successfully uh, we can go to do one thing here I have a uh, sysmo uh, signal software which is very effective so if I need to uh, get some record uh, I already have some tutorial you can learn more but uh, in case for this pro uh, um, problem we can go to uh, open or uh, open and 
if you have this software you can open here is uh, some accelerator programs already uh, saved in this software uh, directories you can select any of these you want this is a longitudinal and this is transverse it means it's in the short in the long uh, direction is the in the short direction and also we have artificial uh, data uh, I selected the longitudinal uh, parameters it is going to open and we can see here is called time and its acceleration uh, here is the uh, option you can select it's one single you can say single acceleration if it's multiple you can multiple if you can uh, uh, lose some record from the uh, peer ground motion then you have multiple acceleration you should use multiple but I have used two and it is time and plus acceleration value per line here I can say this is column 2 is uh, acceleration and column 1 is time. The time period is already written here. It is also giving the first, the difference between this is called time uh, step and the scale factor is 0. If we want to scale this, uh, then apply to the structure also. Uh, if, if there is a 1.5 uh, if using uh, we want to scale a 50 percent uh, of this uh, uh, acceleration and then apply to the structure well what structure response uh, now uh, we can uh, call the end of the reach 4500 so this is the record uh, it was 1.2 and previous was one and I can uh, then I can uh, select or save uh, each parameters. Let's see, this is acceleration, or we're gonna get acceleration, or we want to get uh, the, uh, this acceleration fix it. You want to use this one or this one. Correct it. Some parameter we can correct or uh, uh, and also fit this, this uh, uh, time mysteries. And uh, also we can get the the response acceleration here and we can uh, save this uh, to a text file here is called time history text and, uh, yeah we already have then I can go to the my my desktop I have recorded in desktop here is Chi Chi and I can uh, uh, select all copy and paste to my uh, Excel so this is it so this was a uh, one and this is uh, 1.5 so I'm going to select and insert uh, insert a curve this is the curve this is you see this one one in this 1.5 is going to uh, increase because we uh, uh, increase the uh, scale this uh, record this is a record then I can uh, select we can I can remove this column and then uh, then I can uh, select all this column like I have did to uh, perform a time history analysis now we can check some part of the result here is time about uh, four seconds Step two, the step one was the gravity load is applied, and uh, uh, we can uh, see the results. Uh, this is the result. Uh, we are, we are, uh, this is the uh, one message uh, response, and we can uh, go to the view uh, display and uh, turn check the. Uh, the rendering and we can see the response of the structure after the ground motion. So most of the time the uh, beam column joint uh, will uh, damage but uh, this damage is uh, less than the allowable damage uh, yield stress so still the structure is safe and we can uh, continue uh, to see and also we can uh, go to the, the acceleration and this is the acceleration we use uh, uh, still uh, the acceleration is in the first step because uh, uh, the first step about four seconds 
the four second is uh, not too much uh, not too much large deformation here this is five very small and with which it is done or it's uh, finished at least in the maximum in the uh, here yeah now it's going to the top of the when it comes to this region about 10 and uh, 15 so the structure uh, uh, top roof acceleration will increase like this so now we can see the maximum is going to the top here uh, we can uh, uh, use the um, animation and see uh, here is some uh, yeah this is the animation is going to show you how they spread because yeah so that the um, I can extend to 10 and you can quite quietly see uh, the acceleration in the top or bottom of floor yeah now you see if I increase 200 then we can see obviously yeah this is the acceleration uh, let's see this is the acceleration uh, Yeah, this is the structure acceleration. Uh, so it's uh, because there's uh, a lot of uh, nodes and elements, so the computer making slow. Uh, I will I will keep it to finish uh, after the finished. Now I want to pause the video. After finish, we can see some results. Now uh, the analysis completed. Uh, here is the logo, which we submitted on uh, uh, 12, 12 o'clock, and now it's completed about uh, almost uh, 40 minutes. So we can go to the see some results. Here is the stress strain curve, stress strain deformation. And we can this is the strain stress deformation. And we can uh, take OTP failed output and from unique no nodes we can select uh, this is acceleration in u1 select a point i'm going to select uh, this point and plot uh, this is the response of the structure from a top uh, from the top of the roof and also we can plot uh, we can plot the vibration uh, velocities I'm going to here and select output the same here is uh, turn off here is called uh, velocity and this is a uh, spatial velocity in u1 yeah at least should one node select and here is the velocity in that point But our concern is that acceleration. When when the structure 
encounter to a uh, uh, ground motion so what's the response of the structure so most of the time uh, the maximum acceleration will be in the top of the roof so we can see here this is a magnitude and we can see top and then uh, because this structure is ductile and in the um, about uh, eight floors and ten floors we can check it in the different step so when it's first then it go to the when the shake the structure in the bottom and then it will go to the top so this is a, actually a sort of uh, mood in the first step yeah, like this so this is the end of our tutorial if there is any uh, question please put in the comments and i will find time to answer it thank you for watching and see you next time